What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Didn't know I could choke you through the TV, did you? But I can. All right, guys, you are here. You are here with the Recruiter Call Channel. Thank you very much for being here. And we about to get into a commentary from an email that I recently received. Of course, you guys can hit me up at Lockout Men Podcast Guest at gmail.com or y'all can text me at 216-600-2090. I don't mind offering any kind of advice, any kind of help, if I may, if it's possible for me to, you know, to do. And I don't mind sharing my experience to you guys. All I ask in return is that you hit the like button. Make sure your lights come. Make sure your thumbs come in the building. That's, that's what I want. I want the engagement. Now, if you guys like this video in other ways, you can hit that thank you and offer some type of monetary value, or you can just give me some coffee, make it simple because I love coffee. You know, coffee's good. See, Alice is better, but I'm just saying, all right? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So let's just jump right into it. So this is 2023. It's... <laughs> I, I'm not going to say it's halfway over, but it's it, we're we're three quarters of a way. <laughs> you know, we're we're already in April. May is just right around the corner, and then you got June, and then after that, we're right back into the uh, into the fall season, and right back into the silly season, and we have a whole another year to look forward to. Now, two years, well, two years, goddamn, a year ago, uh, back in February of 2022, the FMCSA, you guys know that's the motor carrier, right? They changed the way you guys come in to get your CDLs. Now, being that it's a lot of you guys that's coming into the industry, and y'all want to know a little bit more about it, like what type of schools, what companies are offering CDL training and stuff like that. But what you're going to also need to know is that the training itself has changed. You no longer can go to mom and pop schools. Uh, you're no longer could get your grandfather to treat uh, to train you. You actually have to go now to an accredited school and these schools is going to have to register with the FMCSA for their ELDT meaning entry level driver training regulations so let's break it down the entry level the entry level driver training regulations was issued by the FMCSA as a part of the United States DOT, which is Department of Transportation, the ELDT rules set minimum federal requirements for training that entry level drivers must complete before being permitted to take certain commercial driver's license skills or knowledge tests on or after February 7th of 2022 this applies to obtaining a cdl or a class b cdl for the first time upgrading to an existing cdl cdl a from a cdl b or obtaining any endorsements which is school bus passenger or hazmat endorsements the eld requires
the ELDT requirements applies to in individuals who obtain commercial learner's permit on or after February 7th, 22. Now, it is not retroactive, meaning that individuals who was issued a learner's permit or any endorsements prior to February 7, 2022, they are not required to complete training for the re I mean for the respective CL CL uh, CDL or endorsements. Now I just caught myself. If I said CLD, I am sorry, I meant CDL. All right. The FMCSA has established the training registry for searchable database of CDL training providers that has registered with the FMCSA. Only those trainer providers listed can provide ELDT CDL training. But there are no specific hours of training required for the ELDT. Instead, drivers must receive training in 30 plus theory knowledge topics and receive hands-on driving skill training until the driver is proficient in skills as determined by the training provider. Skills training includes things like vehicle inspection, pre-trip and post-trip, backing, and road driving upon completing the ELDT training, the training provider will upload the information directly to FMCSA. The record TPR will retain, the TPR will retain a record of which applicants for the CDL have completed the ELDT training. <laughs> meaning that you can't get trained by your grandpa no more. The student driver cannot provide ELD training completion information to FMCSA or the CDL tester. Now, drivers will not be able to take the CDL class A or B test or take the hazmat knowledge test until completed uh, or until completion of the ELDT CDL training provided by an improved training provider. Tester, CDL testers will then check in with the FMCSA computer system to confirm the completion of the ELDT training and if and if training has not been completed by the driver, the CDL tests will not be administered to the driver. Well, I mean, that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The changes of the FMCSA doing this is by trying to put much more conscious drivers on the road today. Cream? No, thank you. I take it back. Like my man. They feel that some of these schools are not training or teaching these young drivers properly while they're out on the road. And they feel that being that they're not being trained properly, they are the cause of some major accidents that can be caused out here. So that's why the FMCSA did that. Now I know some of you guys, especially myself, kind of felt some kind of way when the FMCSA did this, they made it a little bit more harder. The people that already got their permits, now they gotta turn around and retake the permits and stuff like that no not the case if you already had your permit prior to february 7 2022 which was a year ago you're good you're good now if it expired then you will have to turn around 
and follow the ELDT regulations. All right. Now, being that this is a year later, there's a lot more schools that have been accredited, a lot more uh, community colleges that have been accredited, and a lot more of your favorite trucking companies that offers CDL training. They have been accredited as well. So come over to the recruiter call channel and let us let let us help you find your way in in into the industry i'm not saying that i'm the best option for that but what i am saying is is that we're the channel that we make a whole lot of phone calls to a lot of these recruiters and we get the information needed for you to make your decision all right i do appreciate you guys listening today thank you very much hit that like button on the way out the door to show some engagement and we'll come back with another one thank you very much peace SP the only flow that you know with a bounce and a half. Listen, kid, I need a mountain to cash so I can roll up, hop in the whip.